Hello cousins. Welcome back to Chillin' with Allie. 12, 5, 20, or 12, 15, 23. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. 12, 15, 23, 2.07 p.m. Talking and karma. Aquarius, Leo, separation. Somebody's talking about what, um, pretty much the past and shit. There's a whole lot of conversations being had. Children, the truth, creativity, and the moon. Somebody wants you to be a part of activities or some shit like that with this creativity and moon. I mean, with children here, this could be a kid's party. This could be graduation. This could be a holiday just a regular let's everybody get together and do some type of shit i don't know but you got talking children creativity and moon so somebody does want you to be a part of something i'm gonna be honest i don't think your energy is showing up as giving a fuck you i give it a chance um the truth that hermit the truth fell over yeah the moon and the truth so somebody is discussing the hermit, the ex, karma, reunite, tower, chemistry. Somebody is discussing some shit with you in the past. Now, it don't have to be an ex. This could be whoever this is that you stop communicating with. Thing is, there's definitely something with children involved here or you're around children and they're they're telling other like i don't know this is like y'all know how people be weird as fuck like you don't be around whoever this is but you just so happen to be around on this particular day and it's kids here and you're related to these kids or something like that and they they just going back telling you know what i'm saying on some cool shit like oh yeah i seen um uncle such and such i seen auntie such and such and then now you got the the motherfuckers a book like whoever this is they're telling this information to is now going back telling like a group of other people or something capricorn Taurus, toxic life debt sagittarius somebody's wanting to see you because they want to be around you somebody feels like it's time for you to be around like they kid or it's time for you to be a part of like these activities or something with this creativity shit, somebody's trying to put like a little group or something like that together. And with the moon and the truth, they want you in attendance. I'm going to be honest. I don't think you give a fuck. After all of this, it just seems like Gemini. After all of this, it just seems like somebody is ready to put this shit back together. But it looks like you know what you know. The moon and the truth, you know what the fuck you know. Why would you go back? Or, I don't care what the situation is. Why the fuck would you go back around motherfuckers that you know you don't deal with just to appease them? Why are you Why are you pleasing them? Now, if you're going around a situation, let's say it's a kid's event, and and out of respect for this kid, you go and you attend, and you you, you know I'm saying you you say your little one two to this kid, and you going on about your business. You don't have to be nowhere you don't want to fucking be because somebody else wants you in attendance. I'm gonna take a guess and say the same motherfuckers that want you in attendance is the same reason you don't be in attendance. So they asking you to show up, but it's not necessarily to show up to, to, to be in support of whatever the fuck the event is. It's to be in support of them and their feelings. They're ready to be back around you. That don't mean shit to you, though. That's what I'm saying. That's how your energy picking up. It's not that you you feel some type of way to or whatever the fuck the actual event is. It's the people in charge of this shit. I don't fuck with you. That's your energy like the moon and the truth, my nigga. You know what time it is. People chose size and they did not fuck with you. Turned out you the truth. Bitch, I am the truth. Turns out you're the truth, though. Yeah, Gemini and love. All of a sudden, everybody wants to be in this loving energy. Oh, let's just, let's just, you know, be a family. Let's just be cool again. Let's just be friends. Let's 211. How about y'all just kiss my ass? The fuck? The circumstances remain the same. I won't change a thing. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Just be the sun. Just because your motherfucking ass is cool with some shit doesn't mean somebody else is cool. You fucked me over. I didn't fuck you over. That is your energy. Your energy does not show up anywhere else other than you are the truth. The moon. Your your ghost. Your quiet. Your your non-existent in these fucking people's worlds because you you know the truth. You are the truth. You represent the fucking truth. everybody stay in their little made up fucking world and you you're in the real deal reality like nigga i see what y'all really be on and this is this reunite and provoker i couldn't make it up sweetheart these whoever the fuck this is they actually do not give a fuck about too much and nothing they just want you to be around it's a whole ass event motherfuckers just looking for you 
they they want to use this event whatever the fuck this is they want to use whatever this is to bring everybody back together because it's it's all of us no it's not my nigga. i hate I, I swear to god i hate people i ain't even gonna play with you i fucking hate this shit and here's why you don't get to do all of this shit and think that you have a pawn and that's gonna be the reason that everybody just do what the fuck you want to you are the reason somebody does not want to fuck with you do not use a smaller person to make somebody talk to you that's like a mama baby daddy situation a baby mama baby daddy situation oh well, you can't talk to your daddy you can't talk to your mama unless they talk to me what what that's my parent i can't talk to this per to this person unless i talk to you what the fuck are you talking about yeah that type shit and then everybody be wondering how to fucking how to how to how to main pawn and shit because that's all these people are using you for is a fucking pawn or if it's not you it's somebody else i want to be cool with this person i want this person to come back around why so you can do them dirty again don't nobody trust you to not the only person that trusts this person to not do you filthy or trust these people to not do you filthy is the one that they trying to get is the pawn to bring your ass around it's always a different story everybody always remember the shit wrong you tend to remember exactly what the fuck was done to you and what was said to you. Everybody else conveniently forgets that shit. They only remember how you reacted to them. You see, so you remember how I got a cousin right now. I punched her in her shit on her birthday back when she had turned 18. Right now, I punched her in her shit when she turned 18. You want to know why? Because she swung at me and she missed. I have no idea why she swung at me. Nigga, it was a whole situation going on in front of us that had nothing to do with her nor I. And this bitch decided her boyfriend was holding her on her left side. Nigga, he wasn't strong enough, so I got her on her right side. After a minute, she started acting like she was cool. We both let her arm go. I kid you not, this nigga looked at me out of nowhere. She just swung. I ducked, and nigga, my reaction was I popped you in your shit. Now you gonna sit here and lie and tell everybody, any anybody that motherfucking listen. Oh my God, my birthdays ain't been the same since Allison punched me in my face. Tell them why I punched you on your shit. I didn't swing on you for no fucking reason. You swung on me and you missed. You shouldn't have swung on me at all. And I'm gonna be very honest. If the bitch would have swung on me and her nigga, I wouldn't have had an issue with that. But I'm gonna assume the reason she ain't swing on this nigga is because you know he would have beat your ass. Point blank and period. She tend to deal with niggas that'll beat her the fuck up. So I'm just wondering, like, I'm, I'm assuming that that's why you thought you was gonna swing on me. You still got, you still got your shit rocked. You, you, you still... You still had a little situation going on, my nigga. Why would you, out of all things, why would you do that? And then you think that I'm about to come around years later and we just going to be cool after everything was handled the way it was? Y'all thought I was going to be cool with that? Nah. Bitch, I am the truth. I told you I'd always be me when I'm on. Now it's a lot I got to show you. Why I got the lie? Bitch, I bring it to the light. I got the exposed fake shit because I put in too much time. I'm coming through exposing fake shit. God can't save you. The fuck? Your man, come on, bruh. I'm I'm coming through exposing fake shit and God cannot save you. Point blank. Take this shit how it resonates. There's somebody that did you filthy as fuck, a group of people, and they're sitting there years later talking about, I just wish this person would come back. Ain't no way in fuck. If I come back around y'all, I'm gonna do you dirty on purpose. That's my that hey, I promise you that. You have my word on that. I'm going to do you filthy. The fuck, Tower, I'm going to do you filthy. Why would I come back around you and treat you nicely after you did me dirty? That's the main problem with this spiritual shit. People like to fuck with you because you're an empath, because you're into spirituality. So spirituality clearly must mean you don't curse, you don't do nothing negative, blah, 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 blah. It's whole ass people, people in religion right now that be doing the most filthiest shit. But you thought spirituality, which represents individuality and freedom and, and just being self-aware, you thought that that was the equivalent of everything is love and light. No, you fuck me over, you gonna get fucked over. That's just what it is. Years later, karma has come back for these people and they don't like it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Judgment is here. Oh, the fuck well. Yeah, talking and children, all of a sudden, somebody's like, you know what? I just feel like this person should be around. Why? Why you want me around now? Capricorn. Because they're trying to use you and they're using somebody else to bring this separation back into harmony, back into reunite. Why do they want so badly to be around you? See, here's the thing. I don't. I really don't believe that it's because they want you to be around whoever the fuck this is. I think that somebody only wants you around. They want you around because they miss you. And this is their way of trying to get back in the door. If I said I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. Now, I fuck with the mini-me, but I don't fuck with you, my nigga, point blank and period. 
How, how, all right, so we good with this kid? They good with this kid? I'm just saying this kid is the common denominator to bring us together. Everybody cool with this kid? That's going to be, no, my nigga, that's not how it worked. It's very easy to fuck with one and not two. It is very easy to fuck with this person and not this person. Y'all do it all the time. It's a chilling with Ali, a relaxing with Ali, and a story time with Ali. Chilling with Ali and relaxing with Ali are the same exact channels. Same exact ones. Some of y'all are following one channel, not the other. Some of y'all are following neither channel, but you watch both. Some of y'all are following both channels, and you watch both. It's your preference. It's what the fuck you want. Ain't nobody telling you what the fuck you got to do. It's highly suggested, but nobody's telling you what the fuck you have to do. You make your own rules. You do your own work, nigga. Now this person is sitting here. They're using a pawn. They're, they're cheating. That's how I see this shit. They fucking cheating. They trying to cheat to get back in the door, my nigga. They using somebody that you know that they know. Trust your motherfucking gut with judgment. This person know that they they trying to tap on your heartstrings. Oh, this this is a party for such and such. We doing a little get together for such and such. We're bringing all of the all the kids together for such and such. Yeah, so some people planning a family activity that has something to do with kids and they want you to be in attendance. No, if you don't fuck with it, you don't fuck with it. If you do, you do. But do not go into this event thinking that it's all kosher and shit. Don't go into this event thinking that it's all sugary and cool. And it's only just, you only here to just, I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. I'm just here to show my support to, you know what I'm saying, to whatever, to whoever's hosting the event, to whoever this event is about. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I'm not coming for y'all. I'm going to skip the red carpet because y'all looking for me. The fuck? Yeah, they don't like that this show energy. This new you ain't nothing to fuck with. It ain't it, you ain't been nothing to fuck with. But now you you hey hey talk about show some talk about show some the fuck provoker creativity in the moon. You know damn well what this is. Do not play crazy. I don't trust that. I, 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 actually, I trust that you won't play crazy. I trust that you know exactly what the fuck's going on. Healing, blessings, Aries, desire, life, debts, messages, destiny, cancer. Somebody having a whole lot of private conversations about you in the background. Somebody, I just want to see this person. I just want, why the fuck do you want this person? You done made sure that this person was not around the whole time. So why the fuck do you feel like you the one that just get the uproot shit almost as if you the one making judgment calls out this bitch? You don't make no judgment calls for somebody else, my nigga. You only make that for you and whoever you, whoever you holding down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody feels like they make these type of calls and then they, they tell you whether or not you can be in attendance. I don't know who you're talking to. I don't know who you're playing with, but you got another. You you you, you got the, a right game, wrong bitch. Right game, wrong nigga. I don't know what you think this is, but that's out. That's the fuck out. I kid you not. Somebody is literally trying to use kids or a child to get your ass back around. They don't even really care that you show up. And it's going to be one of the things where if they invite you to a kid event and you don't show up, they gonna, you going to be talked about one way or another. You, you get invited and you don't show up, they know why you're not showing up. It's not because you don't fuck with whoever's hosting the event. It's because you don't fuck with whoever's constructing the event. You don't, play, you, don't, you don't fuck with the party coordinators. That's what this is. And let you not show up. That's why I be talking about this person don't give a fuck about nothing. Da, 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 da. Call it what you want, my nigga. Ain't nobody going to show up just to please you, knowing exactly that walking into this shit is a fucking trap. Again, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So even if you was to show up to this shit, you show up, say your one, two, to whoever the fuck it is that you need to talk to, then you going on about your business. I'm not opening up for no motherfucking interview. Don't see me when you see me in the streets, nigga. You still don't know me. Don't, don't, don't be like, oh, this such says. Let me go say such and such. No, because that's the whole point of this whole thing to get you into a. And I did this reading already to get you into a space where they can also be in there because they want to talk to you. Trust your fucking gut with this judgment. Don't make no fucking decisions based off how nobody else feel and what the crowd is going. I don't give a fuck what the crowd feels. I don't care because at the end of the day, the crowd is not the one that has to deal with this tainted ass energy going back. Then you, the crowd don't have to heal from this energy after you being put in a fucking situation where motherfuckers are declaring open season on your ass. You walk into somewhere knowing that it's a trap. You just let them people declare open war on you. 
And when you hit the kill switch by walking the fuck out, then it's, uh, that's why I be talking about this person, okay, and what? It's either you're going to deal with that or you're not going to show up at all and deal with it regardless. You don't have to deal with shit. But let's be very clear about what the fuck going on here. You're not being invited somewhere because this is the best thing for everybody. You're being invited somewhere because the party, the party coordinators, they want to talk to you. They got to bring management into the room because the only way to get management here, we got to do some crazy shit. We, we got to put something together, creativity and trust your gut. It's almost like, you know, off top, as soon as this is brought up, it's like, it's, it's almost like, you know, instantly, you know, instantly with provoker in the moon, you know, instantly it's some bullshit going down in the background. You just know it and you're not wrong. Let's play with this real nigga shit. Like, what's, like, what's really going on, man? The Aquarius, this is I know. You already know what time it is. You got the moon, the truth, and I know. Come on, bro. It's right there. It's all there. It's all there. It's right there. It's all there. Shaking hands with my opposition, me being friendly. That shit is bad. I'm going to stand on what I said. Fuck y'all. Y'all getting left on red. The fuck? That's why I'm so low. I'm solo. I'm dolo like a motherfucker. Listen, bitches, they want pictures taking photos. That shit dead. Fuck being faithful. These are facts. Because them bitches be texting two or three niggas. That's that on that. I thought I knew who you was. I thought I knew who I loved. Found out the shit wasn't real. I must be dumb as they come. Protect your name with all I had and you took mine through the mud. We got this shit out the mud, but I guess it wasn't what it was. This somebody that you was riding with. They say they're going to ride till the wheels fall off, but I bet they're going to leave if a tire go flat. This somebody that you was riding with. Like this somebody that did your motherfucking partner right here that did you filthy. They did you filthy. See... Just my day ones. Just the ones that's full life. Like, what the fuck? You still my nigga. You still my nigga even if we knuckle up. Like, the worst thing that's gonna happen is we probably gonna knuckle up. But you my nigga no matter who in the scuffle, bruh. It's a different type of vibe when you dealing with your real guys only day ones. Just the ones that's full life stepping on some big necks. Please don't make me slide, niggas. I say get your steps right. It's funny how the money make the lies feel like the truth. And everybody phony. You just do not have the proof. Tried it on my pride and recorded in the booth. Like, nigga, come on, man. Jot it on that pad, bitch. It recorded in the booth. Yo, I don't need a shrink. Just press record and let me loose. I'm trying to separate all the emotions that I'm guarded with. I'm getting mixed emotions from the people that I started with. Yo, I'm feeling like it's fake love. Only for the sponsorships. I'm going to scratch them off the dean's list. I got to cancel all their scholarships. It's a different type of vibe when you're dealing with your real ones. Because the worst thing that's happened, the worst thing that's going to happen, nigga, we probably going to knuckle up. But you my nigga, no matter who in the scuffle, bruh. Fuck that. I don't, want, I don't want beef with you. I just want to look at you real quick. Fuck all that shit. It ain't got to be no beef. I'm just trying to look at you and shit. What's up? I'm just trying to look at you real quick. That's it. Ain't got to be no fucking beef. But this person wanted to take it all the way six ways from fucking Sunday. They got exactly what they wanted. Nah, my nigga, when you had the opportunity to squash this shit, you still wanted beef. Told you it wasn't no motherfucking beef. You still wanted to take it there. There is no beef. I don't fuck with you, though. Keep it pushing. It's either us or it's them. Which one is going to be, bitch? It's going to be y'all. Y'all got to go. We will not play with them. I'm calling it out. Ain't no competition. I see all that hating and shit from a distance. What well, he mentioned to me? What well, he wants some attention? Better that. Hey, hey, you better ask, you better ask that big homie, bitch. You know how I'm living. The fuck? I be letting them slide because they think I'm a hoe. Hey, shit. We with it right now. Pop out. Rock out right now. Fuck it. I want the smoke. The fuck? It's so weird that everybody be like, after you do all this, all this bullshit, you think that somebody else is going to be cool because you cool. Absolutely not, bruh. Again, ain't no beef. Niggas just don't fuck with you. Stop trying to put yourself in the same room with somebody that don't fuck with you. Nine times out of ten, it ain't going to go well. Just because your mindset is on some other shit don't mean somebody else is. 
one all it take is one one motherfucking one thing to shake that vibrational wire my nigga and it's on and popping it's on a whole nother time frame stop trying to put motherfuckers in the same room with you if they don't fuck with you whether this you or them trying to do this shit to you do not or, or you're playing the middleman do not put somebody in a room with somebody else that they don't fuck with what is wrong with y'all I hope this is not one of y'all, but if it is, what the fuck are you doing that shit for? That is not your job to put niggas together. If you, if, if this was your job, my nigga, you would, you would, you would know it. You would be certified in it, and you're not. I'm calling it out right here. You're not certified to be doing this shit. Leave it alone, bitch. Ain't no fucking respect if it ain't direct. Don't tell somebody else all this shit. After all that shit that you not said, don't turn around and tell other people. I just want to be cool with this person. Keep that same energy. Please don't flip. Because you was talking all that motherfucking shit. We see everyone. We keep in a list. The fuck? Clapping when they win. But when I win, they never clap it up. Like the fuck? Life, dance, messages, and destiny. Because this is exactly what the fuck is being talked about in the background. Everybody talking about how they miss you and they love you and da 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 You done fell off the map so motherfucking hard with these people. They damn near... We, we damn near fucking... Doing a condolence speech and shit. Like, oh, this person just... You have literally released yourself from these people so fucking easy. Change. You done changed the game. You changed the game. Point blank and period. Literally, because it was a game and you changed the fucking game. Capricorn, Virgo, Injustice. Somebody is trying to play the middleman. They're going to get their ass handed to them too. Stop being in the middle of everybody else's business it ain't no motherfucking spec if it ain't direct don't have somebody come to you and tell you all this shit about me and in the same token couple couple however long later same breath same person oh i just feel like me in this part and then so you go from you go from being with all the fuck shit to talking shit with this person to now you oh you know what y'all want to be cool okay i'm gonna i'm help you be cool so you sat there and you went through all of this bullshit you let this person say all this shit let these people do all this shit on the back end bitch but what you supposed to do is you supposed to hold your nigga down it don't matter what the fuck going on don't let nobody run your partner name through the motherfucking mud and this person this middleman they did just that they let this person run your motherfucking ass through the mud damn i thought we was partners what happened what what uh 50 say damn m switch sides on me let niggas ride on me i thought we was cool why you want me to die homie yeah many men which death upon me blood of my dog and i can't see i'm trying to be what i'm destined to be <laughs> it's sad because the same motherfucking middleman actually don't have your back for shit they dogged your ass too this person was going in, they went in too. Now this person want to be cool, they want to help put y'all back together. You going to always be wrong in these people's eyes, it don't matter who the fuck it is, in including the fucking middleman that is, not only was they just with all the fuck shit, now they with all the, let's just be together, let's just do all, like, come on, bro, the way niggas switch sides on you crazy as fuck, bro, what's this? The way motherfuckers changing directions, the way motherfuckers switch up on you be sick as fuck, like, what you mean? What you mean? You already know what time it is, bruh. I can also tell you with this tower, because I know how this middleman move. I can also tell you that this middleman, whatever the fuck this is, playing these reindeer games and shit, bitch. Inside Rudolph, outside Red Nose. You is not to be fucked with. This person... This middleman motherfucker is sitting up there letting this person say all this crazy ass shit and then on the back end to come to your defense to try to make sure that all this shit stays emotionally groovy and shit. This person is trying to semi vouch for you like, oh, you think this person is? This person actually blah, 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 blah. This person ain't shit either because whoever this is that's supposed to be defending you, they're not doing a very good job. My nigga, the minute that you let somebody run your partner through the fucking mud, that is not your partner no more. And then you right with it. You just, you ain't disagreeing, nor is you agreeing, or you're just flat out going with the shits. Like, nigga, you're not, you you not holding your partner down, nigga. Let's hold these niggas accountable for the shit that they doing. Let's be real. Real niggas do real shit. This is not no real nigga shit. You allow somebody to run your motherfucking partner through the mud, and then you turned around. You gonna sit here and attempt, family, friends, ex, whoever the fuck, this person is going to attempt to be, oh, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, so you let this person say all this crazy shit, then you 
you gonna fucking turn around, come to me, and be like, I just feel like you and this person need to be cool. But you not gonna conveniently say all the crazy shit that this person said on the back end. And this person was sitting up there pillow talking with this shit, letting it happen. This person is all this middleman is not somebody to be trusted. They do not stand on shit. You gonna stand for something to fall for anything. They fall for fucking anything. That's point blank and period. Anybody can get off on this person. They whole thing is this person is destructive on the outside of life. So do they good deeds? They didn't want to be in, in, in everybody else's business trying to play Cupid and trying to put motherfuckers together. But the middleman, the main motherfucker that's all fucked up. You're the person that's the, you're, you're literally in the middle between good and fucking evil, my nigga. You, you could have been the one that put the shit, put the fence up. Nigga, this person don't fuck with you because it is. You don't fuck with this person because it is. You should have stayed right on the fence. You should have stayed right in the fucking middle. But instead, this fucking middleman decided to lean and pick sides. And I guarantee you, the craziest part about this shit is, they never leaned on your fucking side. When this person got too out of pocket with the shit that they was saying about their mouth, that's when this person jumped up and said, all right, y'all, now you going too far. Y'all seen this shit when, when me and Dave got into it on live. Prime example. Y'all saw the shit when me and Dave got into it on live. My little brother done dated some little weird looking bitch that me and my, uh, me and my little sister done said something like, this little hoe look weird as fuck. Like, she seems strange as shit. Like, I don't even like her. That's just me being, I don't even like this hoe. There's something weird about her. Cause I'm sitting there thinking like you 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 really acted like this in front of me toward my love like did he not tell you about me or something like you really doing this shit in front of me like you really with this I'm gonna let this attitude shit slide but bitch you get a little too to get out of pocket one more time bitch I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna have to step in because you clearly got both of us fucked up you you must think that I don't know what you think but that shit did you ain't about to talk to my little nigga any type of way that shit's out. I let this shit slide the first 13 times, bitch. When you no, I don't even talk to this nigga like that. You got me fucked up. Y'all seen me get into it with this nigga David behind a bitch that was doing that shit to my little brother. I'm like, no, no, we ain't even gonna do that. Cause I I that that's my favorite and shit. I'm like, bitch, what was you fucking her too? Like, why are you jumping up? Like, bitch, let's be clear. We came out of the same nutsack and vagina, my nigga. I don't give a fuck who you like. I don't care what you're talking about. I got rank, bitch. Then you got some little weird hoe in the comments. Because she looked at Dave and thought Dave was my... Bitch, so you disrespecting his sister on live and you thought my brother was going to go for that? Are you dumb? He already planned. The fuck? He baited your ass into doing exactly what the fuck we knew you were going to do. Like, come on, bruh. That middleman shit will get you fucked up. Got embarrassed on live for no fucking reason. All because you thought you was going to jump stupid about another little weird bitch. That I done told you I, I already got friction with the whole because the way she was treating this nigga. You going to sit up here and tell me that's your favorite person that he ever dated? The way he treat, the way she treat this nigga? I don't know what happens behind closed doors. I know what you showed me in my fucking face. It was enough for you to get your ass whooped in front of everybody. But I let you slide, and then this nigga, now I got to deal with him. Nah, bitch, I'm going to put you down, too. Y'all got me fucked up out this bitch. What's this? I love my people to death, but you're not going to play with me like that. There's always some little weird bitch in the comments trying to trying to get on with one of my siblings and shit. Ah, she toxic. She did. Yeah, I'm very toxic, my nigga, and I've never claimed to not be. Let's be clear about what I do for a living. I have to tap into y'all weird-ass energies in order for me to explain what the fuck's going on. Yeah, that makes me toxic. It makes me karmic too. What, is this a shock to y'all or something? Do you not you you don't know me by now? Is this a shock to you? Stop playing, man. I don't understand why. You know what? I, I'm about to go into a whole nother. I don't know what just pissed me off right here. I really don't know. What's this? I don't know what just made me mad about this. It's this middleman and this is other person that's pissing me the fuck off though. You got the world. You shut this shit down. And here come this person trying to put y'all together. After all this weird shit that this person said about you behind your back. And this motherfucker, less, they listen to it. They engaged in this shit. Because this person talked to other people that also don't fuck with you. They all engaged in these activities. And now the same person that was running shit, running their mouth left and fucking right, running their mouth like water. Now this person, I just want to be back around this person. It seemed like you just need more, more, more content. More, more things to fucking talk about. That's just what it looks like you need. Like, bitch, y'all don't want to be around this. Yo, you not. They're not trying to get around you because they fuck with you. I done made this very clear. It took 29, 19 seconds. This shit is very clear. They don't fuck with you. You're just something to talk about. You come through and suck the oxygen out the room. It's hard not to talk about you.
they don't want this to be over reunite and fucking separation exactly because i can't even shuffle the cards we got two cards left they don't want this shit to be over they want for a different outcome to happen high priestess your intuition is clear is that you got the moon on top of high priestess with the tower aquarius and the truth you ain't no fucking dummy strength you ain't no fucking dummy strength and increase your intuition has gotten nothing but higher and higher and stronger and stronger these people have become nothing but more and more foolish that clears everything up i'll be right back <laughs>